play your course. course. Uh, did you have any kind of preconceptions? Is it something, was there something that you wanted from this course? No, I mean, we signed up thinking it'd be workshops, not actually sure we were making a film, made it, and it's different. It, it's, it's, we've become a lot more professional in our work ethic. We've, we've just learned a lot from coming every week and being committed to a course like this. Is there one thing that you go, wow, I just didn't know that? Um, how long it takes between takes, I think. That, that, that we, we had to push a schedule four hours yesterday to find time, but improvising is another big thing. We're learning to work and make it as quick as possible and just to change everything and make everything okay. It's an interesting point. Uh, so another thing that I've been hearing a lot about is networks and people building up teams and friendships. Have you, I, mean, I don't know whether you came on this course knowing anyone, but are there people here that you imagine you're going to be working with in the future? Well, they um to be honest, I knew quite a lot of people from the group because they're all, uh, most of them are from Truro College, where I am, where I study. And, um, but with the links that you were talking about, with Paul Caddis, for instance, who's experienced at his job, um, who's very good at his job, you know, having links like him and being taught by him is a pleasure and it's, you know, it will help you um, later on in life. Because, of course, you're meeting people here that you are probably going to go on and possibly meet, you know, if you... If, in the film industry, and that you're gonna meet it's a smallish world, you know, you, <laughs> even though it seems vast at the time, you know. Mm. So, um, I mean, can you, uh, can you tell me what it's like? Because an another great thing about this, of course, is that, that you're working with professionals, people who do it every day for a living. Mm. Well, what can you get in from that? What can you get from that? Well, a lot of the time we've been actually been shown some of the work they've done, but not like the finished film, as in storyboards, call sheets, uh, scripts, all, all these different methods of production that we might not have seen before, because everyone's heard of a script and a storyboard, but not the things that go with it. So learning from first-hand examples rather than kind of a, a, a curriculum, it's been really helpful in that way. And, um... Well, I had a really killer question and I completely forgot because your answer was so good. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, no, it has completely gone. So, okay, here we are. We're in the, we're at the far end of, uh, of England. <laughs> yes. Now, is, there, is, there right. a kind of a, is there a film industry here that you're kind of... Do you feel that there's something here worth working towards? Not entirely. Are you going to bugger off to it? <laughs> <laughs> no, we've... Um, Britain, yeah, well, there's quite a bit going on. Cornwall, not as much. We've got, we've got a few big productions. We get Doc Martin and Poldark every year now. There's a few things like that. We had uh, Tim Burton's new film, Film Around the Corner, recently. But as a whole, there isn't, there isn't a current like a studio. There isn't a current... Every year there's something. It's more like something has decided to come down rather than something wants to be here. Yeah, so it's an interesting point. It's interesting. Everyone does... Feel that they want to gravitate towards London, yeah. And, you know, but there are, I mean, the BBC alone is moving parts of its output to places like Bristol, and yeah, mm. Manchester, where they're from. And, and so, um, it's an opportunity. This, you know, what would you, uh, it's how much did it cost you to do this? As in money, okay. Well, um, it's don't have an exact figure. It has been bursaried. It's going to be bursaried back. So there's an incentive in that sense that it's not just draining us. And because not, we're not being paid to do this, we're just we're paying at the moment. But we get it back, and that that's one incentive to, to keep coming, knowing that it's not just a waste. If the, the final product wasn't great, and then we'd waste a lot of money, and didn't have a great experience, that would be a shame. But it hasn't been like that as much. I think what I'm trying to get at as well um, is that. You know, the, this is quite an intensive hands-on mm. course. It's pretty practical. You get some good stuff from it, but um, the actual course itself costs twenty-five quid. Is that right? Yeah, mm. that's right. Yeah. Mm. So, would you class this as a pretty good opportunity? Oh, very. Yes. You get much more out of it than what you pay for. So, much more. And what would you say to somebody who's thinking about doing this? Course? Do it. Just apply straight away, because you know, opportunities like this don't come that often. And in Cornwall, where it's a growing industry, um, I think it's a priority for Paul Mankis to do something like this. Where do you see yourself in five years' time? Um, I, I can't say. I've finished uni, hopefully. I'm trying to hopefully have a place of where I want to end up.
but at the moment still just a broad area trying to figure out where I want to specialise. So you haven't quite got an idea yet why no. you want to... No. I have really enjoyed do being a producer on this film, but I'd like to experience the other parts as well. Make a kind of a list of everything that I've done. <laughs> we were filming. Yeah. What about you? Five years time. Five years time. Um, I would have finished for uni by then, and I'm definitely going to uni. Um, hopefully, if the opportunities come, I'll be in a job. Uh, if not, I'll keep working towards it. So, not sure where I'm going to end up yet. Who knows?